Hi everyone, so Pika has gone ahead and released another incredible video in painting feature. This one is called Pika Swaps and it essentially allows you to modify a region in a video. So you can do that via text or by using a brush to create a mask and then you type in a new prompt to essentially swap out that object with something brand new. So if you guys are merging reality with AI, you are going to be having so much fun with this. I'll be showing you how to access this tool, how to use it and some creative use cases. So let's get started. So from the home page to access Pika Swaps, you just simply click on this brand new icon called Pika Swaps, and then you'll see this user interface. Now this is where you can upload your video. So Pika Swaps generates five second long videos. If your video is longer than five seconds, Pika is just going to use the first five seconds. You can also upload an image as reference. So you can see over here, it says if you have a specific vision in mind, you can upload one of those photos and swap it out with the selection that you're going to make in your video. Now here at the bottom is where you actually type in your prompt describing what you'll be essentially modifying that selection with. So with that in mind, go ahead and find a video and we'll actually start uploading it and I'll describe some other features. So I've uploaded a video of myself holding an apple and you'll notice some new options have appeared over here. So this is really important because when I click on here, I can use natural language to describe a selection in my video. So PikaSwaps does a very good job with automatically identifying objects, making a selection and then creating a mask for you. So if I just wanted to select this apple, I'll simply just type in the apple or I can even just type apple and the AI will identify that apple and make that selection for me. Now here at the bottom is where I type in a prompt describing what I want to replace my selection with. So I'll type in the earth because it's not every day that you get to hold the earth in your hand. Uh, anyway, so again, this describes your selection and this describes what you want to replace that selection with. So once you're ready, click on this icon to start generating your video. So when you click on generate, you'll also switch over from templates to my library. And here's my video right over here. So I'll just maximize this and there we go I am now holding the earth and I can even see my continent over there which is Africa so that's really cool and this is why this technology is so powerful because it can make selections just by using natural language like that and then you can essentially just replace it with something else so super cool stuff so now I want to go back to Pika Swaps. I'm going to use a different video, but I want to describe this feature over here called Use Brush because it is extremely useful and it can be a lifesaver. So you notice we used natural language to describe selections, but what happens when the AI is having a very difficult time making that selection? And that's the problem I actually had with this video. I wanted to place tattoos on this person, but the AI could not identify the woman's back and arms. It was changing other parts of the video. So the easiest way to fix that is to use a brush. So when I click on use brush, you'll see over here, I can adjust the slider to control the size of my brush. So now I can use this as guidance for the AI. So let's say I want tattoos to be present on her arms over here and her back, because that's what I was basically trying to do. All right. I was trying to do this by describing it with natural language and it just wasn't working. So like this, I have a little bit more creative freedom. Now, your brush doesn't have to be very, very precise. As long as it's within that range, the AI will realize that you are trying to essentially in-paint something new in that region. And this is where the brush really comes in handy. So now that I've made a selection on there, I can type in something like, let's say, Japanese tattoos. And then the AI is going to apply Japanese tattoos onto the selection where I've used the brush. So this really comes in handy. And obviously if you don't like your selection, you can just click on clear and then paint it on again. So at this point I can click on generate and I'll have some tattoos on this region of this person's body. And there we go. This is the end result. You can see from the original video that it never changed anything else. The garment is exactly the same. The face is the same. It just applied a tattoo onto that region. So brush really comes in handy and you guys should make use of it if you're trying to make very, you know, precise or accurate selections on a video. Now the last feature to talk about over here is image reference and it is very powerful if you guys know how to use it. Sometimes it can be hit or miss, but I noticed the best use case for using reference images is if you are going to do subject replacement. And yes, I said subject replacement. So if you've recorded a video of yourself, you know, vlogging, you can literally replace yourself with someone else. 
and the way that it integrates that new person into the scene by by matching the light in and you know it even tries its best to match the motion is actually incredible so i wanted to test this for fun with the joker so i found some videos of you know someone at a podcast studio and i essentially swapped them out with the joker so now the joker can be chatting at a podcast studio or maybe he's vlogging uh, but the fact that it does a complete subject replacement is mind-blowing to me so in order to prompt for subject replacement while using an image reference uh, in this case i've got a woman within my video so if i want to replace this entire person i just need to type in the woman and the ai knows how to select the entirety of this woman and swap her out with the joker and again this blew my mind with how how well it actually integrated the joker into this video now you can click on generate right now because the ai knows that it's got this image reference to replace the woman but you can also give it some more context so you can even say the joker is laughing and smiling all right and the ai can try and adhere to that prompt and apply those emotions onto the joker's face as well uh, but i tried this and i mean look at this end result like it swapped out the woman so there's the original video right of this woman talking it swapped it swapped out <laughs> with the joker it matched the lighting now it isn't following her motions exactly the same but it did it did a complete subject replacement which to me is mind-blowing so you guys can record your own videos and then essentially replace yourself with someone else so I had to try this with my Apple video as well. So I replaced the Apple with an image that I generated that is this cluster of eyeballs. And it managed to replace that Apple with this image quite well. So you can see how powerful a reference image is when it actually works well. So of course you can also swap out a subject just with text. So with this video I just described my selection as the man. And then over here you just need to describe what your subject is going to be. So I said the Joker wearing an iconic suit sitting on the steps. And this is the video that it ended up giving me. Looks quite cool. I mean, there's some a little bit of issues over here with the hands. Uh, but you can see I got a completely new subject, completely from text. Some last things to mention regarding the UI. Whenever you hover over a generated video, you can click on this icon to download. You can also share it on social media. If you really like it, you can click on this favorite icon, which will add it over here, which makes it quite easy to find. And then if you don't like the result, you can just click on retry and it adds the retries into the exact same video uh, section. So everything is nice and organized. Uh, if you want to reuse all of the elements that were used to generate that video, you just click on reprompt. And you can see over here, it'll automatically insert the video that I used as well as my prompts. And if I don't like the video, I can click on these three dots and delete it. So the UI is very simple and easy to understand. Now there is some limitations and I'm all about transparency and I really hope the team works on this but sometimes your results will have ghosting so you'll actually see the original object present within your new video as something that's transparent or has a ghosting effect applied onto it. Uh, that means that the mask that was generated wasn't very precise and uh, the new object that gets generated uh, is obviously applied into that video but you can still see the original object and I really hope they work on this because this actually does break a little bit of the immersion and it did happen to me quite a few times uh, but when when it actually works well the results that you get look incredible if you want to get rid of ghosting you can upload a reference image and see how that ends up working out for you guys I tried it with this video and yeah I think it gave me a much better result so now I'll be showing you guys some creative use cases that you can try. So in my opinion, if you guys want to get very creative with this tool and have the most amount of fun, definitely merge reality with AI. This also allows you to think completely outside the box because now you can look at just random household items and turn them into something completely brand new. I did this with an apple and I managed to turn it into so many other types of objects that was actually blowing my mind. Or maybe you've got a picture frame in your house and you want to swap out that picture frame's image with something brand new. Or there's a jar of olives but now it's a jar of eyeballs or you've got a bowl of eggs but now it's a bowl of chicks so <laughs> just think outside the box have fun with this go wild and merge reality with AI you get to be the director and you can create some mind-blowing visuals try and swap out your pets with completely different animals so you can turn a dog into a white tiger or a cat into a bald eagle so have fun with this and go wild
So this is one of my favorite use cases and that's the ability to merge styles together in a single video. So maybe you can replace your subject with someone that is a black and white hand drawn sketched image and now you've got this fusion of a sketched person in a real world. So it creates this really interesting dynamic and this is also kind of like doing video to video because you can replace the style of an entire video to something completely different. Uh, so experiment with this, it's a lot of fun. Uh, maybe you want someone to look like they're made out of Play-Doh or a sketched image. So go and experiment. And just to show you the prompt structure for something like this, I've got this video of this guy. Now my selection is going to be the man. And then over here, I'll just say a male wearing a suit. He is a hand-drawn black and white sketched image. And then it can give me something really cool like this, which is a basically a fusion of two different styles. There's realism and then the sketched aesthetic. You can definitely try face swapping. However, I don't think this is the best tool for that uh, because there is some inconsistencies with transferring over the likeness. If you do have a fictional character, I think it will work perfectly fine because you don't have a real person to compare them to. So you can give that a try. So if you want to try face swapping with the prompting, you would have your video. Then you literally just have to specify your selection as the face. Then you can upload an image over here or you can just describe it with text and then generate that and you'll be able to swap out that face in your video. You can definitely do fashion try on and replacement. It's as simple as specifying the item of clothing that you want to replace. And I recommend doing this in stages. So upload a video and if you want to re replace the top, you just simply say top. Then you save that out as a video and that new video becomes your new video input. Then you can replace something else like the bottom and the shoes and so on and so forth. So get creative and have fun. So like I showed earlier in this tutorial, you can definitely generate tattoos on someone who does not have tattoos. Just remember to use the brush to get the best results. You can swap out buildings with a completely different object. In this case, this building has actually been swapped out with a box of cereal. Uh, so you can see how crazy this technology is. Uh, so have fun with it. If you've ever wanted to change the color of someone's hair, you can do that very easily using Pika swaps. Yes, you can also replace the background. However, I don't think this is the best use case for this because it does not relight your subject, but you can do it. Just specify a background as your selection and you can get something different. Try and swap out a vehicle with another vehicle. Now, I would recommend that your footage has a stationary vehicle and not a moving vehicle uh, because whenever there's fast motion with these results, you can get some really wonky end results. But you can swap out cars with some really insane ideas. Maybe a car that's made out of sweets and donuts or a car that's got a blue fur coat on it. Uh, so just have fun and think of some crazy ideas. All right, so that's going to be the end of this tutorial. And honestly, Pika Swaps is so much fun to play around with. It's like we've got access to this incredibly powerful toy that allows us to generate anything. So you guys go out there, get creative, swap out some household items, you know, think outside the box and just have fun and make some magic. Anyway, you guys are super awesome. So stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye.